up guys and welcome back to face over matter it's jay here and today i am bringing you this really easy neutral glam makeup um honestly i just wanted to sit down and film because i bought some new makeup today and i was like oh yeah so before we get started this video is sponsored by vanity planet today we will be using their their professional portable makeup brush collection this is the box <laughs> but i will show you guys here when we switch clips here but it comes with 15 unique brushes and i'm super excited about it because the um the other set that we use the facial brush was such a hit because that brush thing i use on a daily and i absolutely love it it works like a charm it works good with any facial cleansers and stuff so you guys are interested in that it is um down a few videos but i will link it down below if you just want a direct link to it but today we'll be using the brushes of course I have a coupon code um, so thank you so much Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video so yeah if y'all are interested in the brushes I'll leave the coupon code uh, down in the description bar with all the information because they I think it brings it down to 30 bucks off of a hundred so which is a great 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 deal but just to keep it 100 honest with you guys these brushes do remind me of Amazon brushes which I know you can get a lot cheaper um, through Amazon but I will say getting brushes and stuff through Amazon is kind of like iffy because they will sell you really really cheap brushes that will fail you but um, like I will say throughout throughout the talk through if you wash your brushes properly you'll be okay but I feel like Vanity Planet having great quality products and offering them for so low I just feel like it's a bang for your buck so just keep that in mind if you are interested about the brushes and stuff as we go throughout the video but this is the makeup look we will be doing today so if you're interested just keep on watching so I'm honestly excited about this video today. I got some new products to show you. And also this video is sponsored by Vanity Planet. So what I have for you guys today is the Vanity Planet Professional and Portable Makeup Brush Collection. Now this is like a travel type thing. It comes with a packet to hold the brushes in so it's great for travel. Beautiful wooden, it's like a wooden handle on it. I think that is so cool, neat. I love stuff that's like, I love stuff that's like wooden. It's honestly really, really nice. So opening it up, I just want to test out and see how soft they are. Mmm, super soft to the skin. I'm honestly excited about this. Just by tugging on the bristle, well, just by tugging on the brush itself, I don't have any fallout, which is a great sign that, um, you won't have some fallout but most of the time you can tell brushes will have that fallout if you can just honestly pull it and if you wash your brushes properly you can get a lot of wear out of them especially if they're more on the low end not saying these on the more on the low end just saying in general because i know one thing about washing brushes if you know after it's wet and you hold it up like this all the water is getting to the glue that holds the you know the brush part together so if you wash it properly and hold it down as it dries you won't have that issue so if any kind of brush you have always remember that technique hold it down after you wash it so you won't have that problem but I'm super excited about Vanity Planet brushes so use uh, the code down below so you guys get your hands on these at a discounted price so I'm super excited to get into this tutorial so let me stop rambling so we can get started so I'm just gonna take my Palmer's coconut oil formula and this is the hydration facial oil if I look a little tired, it's because I've been running all day. I've been, I've had a very busy day, kind of a rough day. Just keep me in your prayers. So yeah, it's a lot been happening lately and I will catch you guys up on it. I was thinking about getting on Instagram live and actually talking about it. It's something <sighs> kind of touching and I'm getting kind of sad even talking about it. But anyway, uh, let's move on. So I'm going to moisturize my lips. I'm going to put on this Vaseline lip therapy. It's like a tinted Vaseline. I've been really loving this facial spray. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I did talk about this in another video, which I don't even think I posted yet, so I will get that out because I went to the drugstore and bought a bunch of new products. But this is the Make It Last Milani Facial Spray, and I've got to say, this is the bang for your buck. This is actually really, really good. And it smells so good, I could cry. So for a new foundation today, it's not really new because I used to use it. Do I even still have the bottle? I don't think I have the bottle anymore. But this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I used to use this in the shade Cadiz, which is medium dark three. And honestly, guys, lately when I've been wearing foundation, I just noticed how orange my face actually 
is and it honestly irritated me to the bone actually seeing how orange my face was I don't know why I never noticed it before but I was sitting in the car the other day and you know the mirror that you can pull down from this seat I was looking in it and I was looking at my neck and then my head and I did like this I'm like oh my god I know my skin has not been looking like this for the longest time so I've just been into Trying to find a foundation that looks more like my skin tone. I have a really weird skin tone. I have a, I have like a yellowish undertone to my skin. So trying to find something that looks skin-like is kind of hard. So instead of going for a full cakey foundation, I went to Sephora today and I picked up, I remembered this foundation in particular because I knew it was thin, but it gave me a beautiful coverage and it blended very, very nicely. It wasn't too harsh on the skin. So I was like, well, I remember this, but I wore this foundation, the color Cadiz, during the summertime, and that's when I was more tan, so that orange effect wasn't an issue, it matched. But I'm not tan right now, so I'm like, I need something that's gonna look better and more of my shade. But I just pray that this is my shade, oh, cause I'm so sick and tired of trying to find foundations that match my skin perfectly. I'm feeling a little casket ready. This might have been a little light, but I feel like it'll be okay. Moving on, I'm gonna take an oldie but goodie. I picked this up too while I was at Sephora today, but this is the Naked Skin, Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Dark Warm. Used to be my favorite concealer, so hopefully I'll still love it how I used to love it. Okay, so now taking my favorite um, contouring palette. This is the e.l.f. Foundation Palette. I'm gonna take the foundation brush from the Vanity Planet set. And I'm just gonna start mapping out where I want my contour to sit. Yeah, fa uh, very dense brush. I really, really like how it feels on the face. These brushes are super soft, so I say get your hands on them, why the heck not? Then I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna start to buff this in. I'm gonna blend in the contour part with the part with my foundation just so it can kind of mix together and neutralize a little bit. But who is ready for Valentine's Day? Y'all got your gifts in order, y'all set, ready for your dates, y'all ready for whatever. And guys, don't feel like you have to have, you know, like you have to be in a relationship to enjoy Valentine's Day. Like, it's okay if you're single on Valentine's Day. Like, go out, treat yourself, get your nails done, go buy yourself some shoes, some jewelry or something, something that you like. And, you know, enjoy the day. You don't have to be cooped up with a man or a girl to feel special. You know what I'm saying? Like, make yourself feel special. That's, that's what's good. All right, I'm gonna use a new product today. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is the light to medium. And I'm gonna take the contour shade, which honestly favors my golden almond. So I've, and since it's by the same brand, I don't think it'll be any different. <laughs> so, oh my God. Pigmented okay. And I do this thing now, like I kind of pull my face back just so I can really work the product up in there. All right, so since we're already here with the face, I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlight before we continue. Just going in with my Laura Geller. Didn't feel the need to buy a new highlighter because I'm just like, I love the one I have. So let's just hit it. And lately, I've been liking a really subtle highlight. I haven't been doing the extracurricular. I just kind of, and I've really been liking fan brushes. I was never really a fan of a fan brush. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. Just because it's Valentine's Day, I know y'all are probably tired of seeing Valentine's Day stuff, so I'm just not gonna even try to dedicate this towards Valentine's Day. But I'm gonna take another Vanity Planet brush and take this blush right here from Ruby Kisses. Just gonna add a tiny bit to the cheeks. I don't wanna, I don't want it to be too pink on the cheeks, but if it's like kind of flesh tone, it's cool. Usually I'll go for more of like a peachy, orangey like blush, but this will be okay. So for brows, I'm gonna go back in with an oldie but goodie. I went back and bought some stuff I used to use in the old days, but this is the Anastasia Brow Definer, and I got this shade in dark brown for a change. The other one I got in chocolate, but since my hair is back to black, I figured I'd do dark brown. But yeah, I feel like I look so tired, guys. Like, I'm kind of tired and a little stressed, but... You know, like I always say, my God is still the same, so I can smile and be glad about that. So I try to change my attitude real quick when I think about how good God is all the time. 
And that's just something I want to say. Like, if you feel yourself getting down sometimes, that doesn't mean that you have given up on God or that you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's natural to get sad about situations, even though, like, you can still trust God and stuff and, you know, getting down. Like, don't beat yourself up about it because you got down. You know, just find ways to pick yourself back up and remind yourself of who God is. That's the thing. You know, don't unpack your feelings and stay down, you know. Build your, you know, build yourself back up and be like, hey, I'm good, you know? All right, so I'm gonna clean up the brows and I'm so glad. Vanity Planet, you just saved my entire life. I've been wanting a concealer brush like this for the longest time. I don't even know if y'all can see it, but I love it. So Vanity Planet has some eyeshadow brushes that came in clutch. And y'all, my thumb, if y'all follow me on Snapchat, y'all know my thumbnail broke. So upset, <laughs> but it's okay. Just taking a brown color. I'm just gonna pop that into the crease. And this eyebrow brush is kind of dense, so I feel like it's perfect for the crease when you really wanna concentrate and color in there. Y'all see how intense it's gotten already. And if you have a dense brush like this, what you can do is kind of take the edge of the brush and when you blend, just kind of hold it upward. So the sides of the brush blend out the edges just like a big blending brush would do. But if that's too hard for you, then just use a regular brush, you know? All right, so now for my lid color, taking another Vanity Planet brush, I'm going, these don't have numbers on them, by the way, if you're like getting confused as to what I'm using. I'm just gonna use like a neutral shade for my lid. It's almost not gonna show up for real, like a little bit. It almost looks like my lid color. Wow, so I'm gonna just take my Sigma Gel Liner and I'm gonna add a strip of that on the waterline just to make the look a little bit more spiffy. I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some Ardell Wispies, which are my favorite. So I'm gonna take another Vanity Planet. This is a tiny little brush. I'm so happy that they have one of these. Now I can just add a beautiful little, little nook of highlight. It doesn't have to be super dramatic and that's what I have been wanting is just like a little hint. I'm gonna add my little Ardell Wispies. These are super thin but super beautiful and I'm gonna pop those on and I'll be right back. These So lashes are on and they are currently drying so if you see a little bit of white that's just the glue drying. So I'm gonna line my lips with this NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Club Hopper. All right. I'm doing a thin line of this because I don't want this to be too purple. This is more of like a purplish kind of lip liner. Okay, so for my lipstick, I'm gonna take this Tart Tartus Lip Paint by Tarte. This is in the color Choker, and it is such a beautiful brown nude. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys like this look. It's super easy, but super still kind of glamorous. I did try to go and add a little bit of faux freckles, but I kind of stopped myself because they weren't looking really natural. So if you kind of see some dots, that's what that is. But I didn't complete it, so there's that. Um, but yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching. So if you're new, I'm Jay. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not new, Thank you so much for being such an awesome supporter and just, just supporting me throughout anything I do here with my channel. I love you guys so much and you guys are such awesome supporters with Instagram, Snapchat, and here on YouTube. And we are at 190 plus right now of subscribers. I'm so tickled to death because I'm so close to 200K and it's just, I just, it's just an amazing feeling. So I thank you guys so much. So if you haven't subscribed already, I would really, really appreciate it if you did. So yeah, I'm really liking this foundation a lot better now that I have my bronzer stuff on. It doesn't look orange, and I'm so happy about that. Even though I am filming in um, at nighttime with you know LED lights and stuff right now, I do wanna try this tomorrow in daylight and really see how it looks, and I can really see how, if it's orange or not orange. Now I will say what does help my foundation or just the whole look completely look orange is my bronzer. So I am thinking about switching up my bronzer routine because it is starting to look a little bit more orange than I would like. I kind of want it to look a little bit more natural but be, if that makes sense. So, and yeah, so I love you guys so much. So, um, God willing, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.